Hello, everybody out there in YouTube land. It's Piper Dog back again, doing something on the farm. Um, back uh, disc binding, cutting hay. Um, I know in the last video I said we were going to be getting into swathing, and that's kind of the reason why I'm doing this. Um, this hay is almost ready. It's almost ready, but uh, it could have done with another week. But the problem is, in another week, I'm going to be swathing canola, uh, and I have to drop this header off. Um, I got to drop it off to put on the 30 foot header to go and cut the canola. Um, so, at least this way, I cut it now. There's still a lot of stuff out here. I'll take you for a rip and uh, I'll show you. There's I see. Uh, as soon as you go off the hilltops, hilltops are kind of bare, but as soon as you go off the hilltops, there's actually quite a bit of stuff here, so um, I'll take you for a ride along and show you because hopefully after harvest is over and getting into uh, fall time, towards the end of the growing season, there might be enough uh, come back by that point, so we're talking another six weeks um, because it's, I think it's a month exactly since I cut this the first time. But another six weeks, seven weeks after this, I can come back up with the 30 foot header and gather the thinner stuff up and uh, probably get another 100 bales or so. So give it a shot, you never know. So, going to uh, put you back up on the old noggin box. Hopefully, you guys can see what I see. I'm not messing this up entirely. So, so what we do is give the RPMs, uh, handbrakes off, the go button, fire. Oh, hello, Mr. B. So, as you can see, it's a really blue sky. Uh, hopefully, you can make this out. That is our wheat. There. So yeah, off we go. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get uh, here. It's it's about medium. Got about medium amount of crop here. Uh, up at the hilltop here, uh, there literally will be nothing. get to where there's literally nothing, I'll just lift the header. Because uh, it's really not worth cutting. Because what ends up happening is uh, the hay, but because it's so thin it just falls through the cracks to the ground and then the baler can't get it anyway. make it all that rattling noise you can thank the gophers for that gophers and moles these dirt piles every so often make the field incredibly bumpy and uh, it also plays havoc with the blades on the header it wears them out prematurely running into these little dirt piles so, yeah. Let's see, town over there. Oh, there's a dirt pile. And another one. distance is the field I'll be going to to go and cut canola so that'll be the start of next week I'm aiming for Tuesday so yeah you'll 
get to come right along in that and I promise that field's a lot smoother than this one because the uh, combining fields are constantly being cultivated or harrowed or sown uh, the gophers don't get a chance to make it as bumpy so it'll be nicer I promise so yeah there's the ballpark we used to hold uh, Scottish strongman games here we got that going for a few I think we did 10 years I think um, where we did caber tossing and uh, we did tug of war we did shot putt with the rock uh, there was even Highland Dancers my daughter's a Highland Dancer and uh, the pipe band would come and play there because I don't know if you guys actually know this the reason I'm called Piper Doug I do play the bagpipes and yes at some point I will put a video up of me playing the bagpipes there's actually a video somewhere of me playing the bagpipes and a horse dancing I kid you not, there's actually a video of that. So, I'm trying to hold my head as steady as possible, even going over the bumps. And I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this because um, we just had friends visiting and uh, they were laughing at me because on the video I posted a month ago doing this, uh, cutting hay because I was wobbling my head back and forth I think it was making a lot of people seasick um, yeah they were laughing at me for that so uh, so uh, Captain Carbtard Special K because I can't use their real names um, I'm, do I'm trying better I'm trying to behave it's not easy with the moles bouncing me around but I'm trying to keep my head steady and hopefully you guys can make out what I'm looking at. Oh, there's a big mill hill right there. So, so yeah, you can thank Captain Carbtard, Special K, for your steady cam brought to you today. So yeah, over here it's nice and thick. It's still bouncy though. Holy gosh. still having issues with the smoke from Alberta and BC drifting all the way here. Um, you link that to the fact that it's 38 degrees, uh, but the humidex it's over 40 degrees right now. Tomorrow's supposed to be hotter. So, yeah, kind of sucky. Um, just be glad you weren't in the, sw in the cab with me earlier. The uh, air conditioning quit. I had to go and get a, a recharge kit and uh, fill the AC back up because I, I don't know why but it got so low that it actually kicked out so I don't know if it's a leak or what it is but so I've had people ask me in the past what my story is um, like I said the Piper Doug thing I am a bagpiper um, and I've had a few people subscribe to my channel um, you know who you are thanks for subscribing uh, I appreciate everybody that joins my channel oh sorry I'm wibbling my head again uh, I, uh, I appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel because um, it makes it cool to know that there's people that uh, get something out of my day-to-day uh, -day goings on and my idiosyncrasies. Believe you me, there's going to be a lot of different videos coming if you subscribe. And by the way, hit the bell, hit the bell icon so you get notifications. Because seriously, with me, you never know what you're going to get. Um, like I say, and I promise. 
at some point I am going to load uh, a montage of videos or pictures of my uh, piping. Um, so, like I said, you'll, you might get to see a, a horse dancing to bagpipes or you might get to see me playing the bagpipes to uh, whales uh, off the coast of British Columbia. Um, and also, uh, if you've seen my video on my Lord of the Rings collection, uh, I do actually have pipes, as in smoking pipes. Uh, I do, once in a while, partake in a little bit of the, uh, the old pipe leaf. Um, I have a couple of pipes, maybe sometime I'll have to do a little video on my, my other pipes. I hope you guys can hear me because it's so rattly in here. Anyway, uh, so yeah, pipes. Um, and just a disclaimer, I am a card carrying medical marijuana, uh, well, I have used it. I don't use it anymore, uh, but I do have a card to say that I can use it. Um, I don't know if everybody knows. Uh, I have uh, chronic spinal problems. I've had many surgeries. I currently have a steel disc in my lower back and I have steel pins and rods in my uh, uh, medium to lower back um, so I have a fusion as well as a discectomy so yeah I have a, I have a card so I can use medical marijuana but uh, I don't actually use it right now um, long story short it's hard to find one that actually works for me because I do not like anything that affects your thought process because I'm daft enough as it is Yes, I know everybody's yelling, so yeah, we already know that. Ha, ha, ha. So, so that's another thing. Um, around about Halloween, I'm gonna do a couple of videos because I carve pumpkins. Um, and yes, I know a lot of people carve pumpkins, but. I actually carve. Uh, I actually carve people's faces, like famous people or people I know, into pumpkins. Um, I'll leave that just as a little bit of a surprise, but you'll understand when uh, when I show. I'll show the ones that I've done already, because I do have a time lapse of me doing one. Uh, how I actually do it. And, uh, and then I'll do another video and I'll show you the ones I'm doing for this year. Quite often what I do is I do somebody I know and then I'll do somebody that everybody knows, like a famous person. So, yeah, that'll be a bit of a treat. And that'll be around about the time that I'm going to be getting back to uh, the workshop to work on the dumpster. The... Uh, my mini that uh, <laughs> the Franken mini so yeah so there'll be a lot of stuff to come hopefully and like I said next week I will be I will be over there hopefully you can see my finger I'll be over there swathing canola uh, this is our neighbor he's doing uh, barley swathing barley so uh, he must be away for his supper and there's Canton over there. And uh, yeah, that's the cool thing about this swath. You can actually turn 360 on the spot. Um, try not to get sick. And then there's the ball diamond. So, probably uh, filling up my allotted video length time. So, so. I am going to let you go with the new and uh, I will catch back up with you in a couple of days and hopefully by that point we'll have the different header on and get ready to start knocking down some canola so uh, you all look after yourself hug your loved ones that little bit tighter. Tidy bye.